So it is said that this imagination is subject to two possibilities. Since it can reveal the hidden by continuing to veil it, it is a veil. Imagination is a veil. However, this veil can become so opaque as to imprison us and catch us in a trap of idolatry. But it can also become increasingly transparent for its sole purpose is to enable the mystic to gain knowledge of being as it is. Because it is, and this is very important, it is the gnosis of salvation. It's the possibility of being saved. So the manifest, which is the veil keeper of the hidden, has to offer itself in this, where in Eid al-Adha today, this is the first day, right? This is the, an act of sacrifice. So this act of sacrifice, which is continuous, it veils and continuously veils the hidden to remain hidden. Yet, as we have, we have heard, the veil can either show the hidden, can show what's behind it, or completely bar it off. If the veil became opaque, one would be blind to the truth within it, and we would be back to the dogmatic understanding of sight, where I have to hold things, where I have to captivate them into these shackles so I can be able to see them. So this quote ends with a description, and I love this description of this knowledge as the gnosis of salvation, which in other words can be the opportunity and the possibility of freedom through knowledge.